A group of former Homeland Security officials is criticizing the president's comments on the election. They issued a statement that says, in part, the president has wrongfully called into question the integrity and security of the 2020 U.S. election and is now inappropriately abusing his office to undermine the democratic process, attempting to disenfranchise voters and delaying the transition. Earlier, I spoke with Elizabeth Newman, the former DHS Assistant Secretary for Counterterrorism. Mrs. Newman, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to jump right to it here. Why did you decide to be part of this joint statement speaking out against your former boss, President Trump? And what are your biggest concerns about his denial of the election results? You know, we have watched this president uh, lay the groundwork for delegitimizing the election the entire campaign. So what we're seeing is not necessarily a surprise to us, uh, but we, we do believe that the actions that he has been taking over the last few weeks are very, very dangerous. And there are three reasons why. Uh, the first uh, is that he is alleging that there's fraud in the election and moving to a stage where he's, in fact, trying to steal the election himself. Polls show most of Trump's supporters believe that the election was somehow rigged in Biden's favor. What needs to be done to convince Americans that this election was safe and secure? Look, I mean, it is probably the thing that is keeping me up at night the most. Um, there's such a polarization in our country. This is going to uh, continue well past inauguration. Uh, it's going to be something that we need to work on for a long, long time. But in this very particular moment where there's a lot of tension, I, I work in extremism. I've been doing counterterrorism for 20 years. The conditions are ripe for violence. And it is really, really critical that we have credible voices, people that were supporting Donald Trump, come out and clearly explain the facts to his supporters. But he forgive, forgive me, I have, I have to press you on that just a little bit, because we heard that from people heading into election night as well, that the conditions were right for violence. But for the most part, election night turned out to be mostly peaceful. Yeah, and, and I'm so grateful for that. I, my concern, my personal concern was never for election day itself. It was for this period afterwards where one side or the other was going to lose. And you might see protests. And we saw some of that last week uh, at the rally in Washington, D.C. Um, and you saw uh, protests and counter protest groups kind of interact. And there was some violence. I, I think we might see more of that. I'm also concerned about acts of violence that are premeditated, not just uh, spillover, if you will, because two groups uh, run into each other on the street. Uh, the premeditated violence, the people that are now talking about taking up arms, it, the, the rhetoric is increasing online. I, I hope that it's just bravado. I hope it's people letting off steam. Uh, but it would be really great if uh, some Republican leaders would treat this uh, seriously. You have any number of voices saying we are concerned. And, and their voice matters. And so it, my call would be Republican leaders, whether you're in a local or a state or a federal position, if you supported Trump previously and you can recognize that he, he did not win, now's the time to come out rationally. And, and it's okay to be upset about that, but violence is not the answer. Elizabeth Newman, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Now, I also asked her to respond to criticism from Trump allies that she's just a disgruntled employee and a never Trumper. She said that she's proud of that distinction. She wanted to speak out for what she believes is right during this time. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.